So today we have a special guest, Dr. Gadusi, CEO of Optimum Polymer Technologies, a.k.a. Optico. Welcome, Dr. G. Uh, thank you, Kevin. It's great to be here with you. So Dr. Gadusi has worked for 12 years as an organic chemist focusing on polymers and automotive paint formulation prior to starting Optico in 2001. So today we're talking about ceramic coatings which have been on the rise in the automotive detailing industry. So, uh, Dr. Gadusi, what is a ceramic, specifically the one you've developed? Well, ceramic coating is uh, the latest in uh, clear coat technology, uh, which has many advantages over factory clear coat and can be applied on top of factory clear coat to protect it from environmental damage. And uh, OptiCode was one of the very first uh, ceramic coatings that was developed which goes back to about 2006. Wow. So it has a long history. And has there been any major changes or minor changes to that formulation over time? Uh, absolutely. We've uh, improved the formula uh, several times in that time span. And uh, we have also uh, come up with uh, uh, several different variations of the formula uh, depending on the application. And from the from the chemical standpoint, uh, what specifically does the coating do on the vehicle once it's applied to the clear coat? Well, ceramic coating uh, has better scratch resistance, better chemical resistance, and better UV protection than factory clear. Therefore, by applying ceramic coating on top of your factory paint, uh, the paint stays looking new for many years and will not have any chemical etching or UV damage. Ceramic coating also has much better release properties, which makes uh, cleaning the car much easier also. So chemically, what is the main chemical bond that bonds the ceramic coating to the vehicle's clear coat? Uh, well, not all ceramic coatings bond to clear coat. Ours does specifically because it's a silicon carbide chemistry. It's a resin, and it... Uh, reacts and bonds to the factory clear. That's why it lasts for many years. Most other uh, ceramic coatings in the marketplace, uh, almost all of them are based on SiO2, which uh, sits on top of the uh, clear coat paint and diminishes over time. Uh, that is why uh, most other ceramic coatings require boosters every few months and require reapplication every couple of years, uh, while optical lasts for years and years. So mainly the difference between what yours does versus what a competitor can do is yours is actually bonding. It's basically a marriage uh, chemically between the clear coat surface itself with the chemical compound formulation that you've created as opposed to other brands are basically sitting separate, but on top of the factory clear coat. Yes, that's uh, pretty much how it, how it works. You're right, Kevin. So when OptiCoat being different from the other formulations on the market, was it made or intended to be always installed by a professional that knows uh, how to do the restoration process, correction process on vehicles, or is there is there a divide between the average consumer versus the the professional? Uh, what was it really intended for? It was designed for uh, someone who is trained and uh, capable of, uh, as you said, uh, prepping the surface properly, as well as applying the coating uh, correctly. If uh, the coating is not applied properly, or if the surface is not prepped uh, right then the coating either doesn't bond or if, or if it bonds and it's not applied correctly, then it requires polishing to remove it. You cannot remove optical any other way. So, in other words, when it comes to ceramic coating, a professional ceramic coating that's meant to last, in order to get the formulation and that marriage between the clear coat and the chemical properties of OptiCoat to literally come together and bond with each other, and not just one sticking to the other, but literally bonding on the chemical process, it does take uh, the professional type of decontamination and preparation as opposed to what most people uh, don't really know from just your average consumer. They don't really know the actual steps that's needed 
in order to do a ceramic coating properly. So in most cases, a professional ceramic coating needs to be applied by a professional because of all the prep work. Absolutely. If it's not prepped properly, as you said, it won't bond to the factory clear coat. And if it's not applied correctly, then uh, the only way to remove it is by polishing. So somebody, uh, the person who is applying it needs to know how to uh, properly prep the surface, remove all the scratches, and uh, remove all the any oils or any chemicals that can affect bonding, and also learn and uh, be able to be uh, you know uh, able to apply the coating properly so that once it's finished, it, it will have the best results. So, just in closing, there's so many products that I see that are on the market or coming out to the market. And in your professional opinion, being in the industry for as long as you have, is ceramic coatings really something that should be applied by the everyday person, or should it be something that uh, is is taught to be maintained by the everyday person but applied by the professional? What's your thoughts on consumer products coming to market, lots of consumer products? Well, most of those consumer products are not permanent and uh, last only uh, you know, uh, months or a uh, year or so. Therefore, they might not require the same, you know, they might not have the same requirements as, as Opticode. Uh, for a professional ceramic coating that lasts for years, you definitely need to have someone who is knowledgeable about the proper prep and application. Do you have any um, correspondence that... Uh people that are listening or watching our show can get in contact with uh, your staff to ask more questions specifically about OptiCoat or how to get the coating applied either through a professional standpoint or get questions asked to really decide whether or not they're uh, uh, apt to be able to install this themselves or if they need to, you know, hand this off to a, uh, a detailed professional in their area, is there is there any way we can get a hold of anybody your staff to answer some of these questions? If people want more questions answered, absolutely, we have uh, several people on staff that answer questions uh, via the phone or email. Uh, people can contact us on our main number, uh, which is nine zero one three six three four nine five five or send us an email to info at optico.com, and we uh, answer the questions, also put them in touch with one of our professional installers uh, who are also listed on our website. Well, I, I appreciate your time, uh, Dr. Gaducci, and uh, answering our questions. Like I said, we'll, we'll try to get as many of those people to you as possible because I know and I believe in the Optimum Polymer Technology products as well as how they work with not only our personal vehicles, but all our customer vehicles. But uh, again, I wanted to thank you for the time today uh, that you took from uh, your schedule to answer these questions for us and our viewers. And uh, thank you again, Dr. G. It was my pleasure. Thank you, Kevin.